episode of the movie Social. We are your hosts, Ricky and Stefan. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about the Netflix movie, Feel the Beat, which stars Sophia Carson. And so, uh, Feel the Beat is supposed to be a uh, dance uh, kind of children, female kind of movie, I would say, in a way. Fits those kind of genres. I know it's not real genres, but you, you, you get it. But anyway, before we go, divulge into there, don't forget if you like the channel or like the video, give us a thumbs up and hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and also to let us know what you think in the comments below. And so, without further ado, on to the movie. So, to me, I first kind of thought this was going to be more of a like a musical-ish kind of movie that they were going to do and it was going to be kind of a little too much music and singing for my taste but wasn't the case at all it's more of a less singing more dancing but also more drama and more of a great storyline to go with it for person me i'm not going to speak for you but i loved it it was really good. Sophia did a great job with her uh, acting. I don't know if how much of choreography went into this. I'm, I'm guessing a ton. I'm, but it, it was really good. good. Yeah. It was really good. Great choreography. The cinematography was great. Audio was perfectly clear. So didn't have any issues with that. Unlike some things on Netflix occasionally had bad audio. But... This is really good. Wasn't so long, or at least it didn't feel like a long movie to no, me. Not at all. Kept me intrigued, kept me engaged with it. The kids on the show, of course, had their own personalities, which made it funnier. And it had a bit of comedy, but I know, I don't know if you, how you felt about the very beginning with the whole taxi cab scene and then uh, the audition. But I found that very hilarious because for both of them, it was kind of wrong. But it was crazy and wild. Not so, gonna get into that yet. But go ahead. So, um, yeah, um, it was a solid movie. Me and my, my me and my wife watched it. Uh, she thoroughly enjoyed it. She was she was she told me I'm tired before we start watching. She stayed up and watched the whole thing. So <laughs> she definitely enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Um, but here's I'm just gonna be critical about this one part. If you've seen Rebound, you know what I mean. You essentially seen this. The reason why I say that is because it. I'm not going to divulge into the whole, you know, into the spoilers. But it's literally, oh, someone has an opportunity. Oh, they mess up and lose that opportunity. Oh, they find an, a route to basically reclaim their glory. During the process of change, reclaiming their glory, they realize that they're a changed person now. Oh, they're a changed person, and then they do X, Y, Z. That's literally what what the whole rundown essentially is. And but it was still a good movie just because it's the same rinse and repeat uh, thought process. It still was a good movie. I enjoyed it, and I can say Sophia Carson is definitely a looker, bruh. <laughs> the entire time I was watching this movie. What you're supposed to read these things on? You cannot be misogynist. I I'm not trying to be misogynist. What I'm saying is she was very nice to look at the entire movie. I'm not being misogynist. She's, beautiful, but She's a beautiful person. That's it. I don't understand. I'm not saying, oh, the only reason why I watch the movie is because... No. What I'm saying is, in certain aspects, you can get behind a person a little bit more because of their personality and the way they look. She had an, a solid personality. She did make some choices. She was a little bit selfish. A little bit me. But she was just a beautiful person to look at. And what do you do to look at movies? You look at movies. So, I'm just saying, she she was, she's beautiful, you know she's beautiful. Yeah. Anyway, guys, so, again, the whole premise is, Sophia's character, April, is a dancer who's made it to Broadway from a small little Wisconsin town. town. Yeah, it was like a small Wisconsin town. New Hope, Wisconsin, yep. or something like that. Yep. And then, something goes awry, she ends up back at her hometown. Trying to call her way back up into how back into Broadway. It's a good feel-good kind of movie. 
So if you guys like that kind of stuff or like dancing movies, definitely watch this. this. Oh, yeah, of course. Especially the little saying, dude. But we'll know, get into that later. But yeah. Some people don't like that kind of stuff. Some people do. Some people don't. But if you thought this was a musical type of thing, no, no it's not that. So, but if you guys like it, let us know. Please tell us what you guys think in the comments. And don't forget to be on the lookout for the spoiler edition of this. So, until next time. I'm not afraid of